my name's John, welcome to another Sunday night nightcap. Tonight's nightcap as usual, I've got quite a nice mix of things, I've got a bit of machining, I make a, a nice alloy cap for that, it's for a, a motorcycle oil tank, the cap screws on. If you watch the video you'll see what I did wrong with the, the cap, I actually made it a left hand thread instead of a right hand thread. Just wasn't thinking what I was doing, anyway. I'll have that to do again, so I'll probably do that for next week's video. Yesterday I was with Richard again. Uh, we spent quite a bit of time on his steam wagon. Got one or two bits finished off. I managed to use that flogging spanner I made to tighten the dry flange nut up. That was that worked very well. I had a half day off work on Friday. Uh, Mick came down and we redid the castings for Stanley for the, the two mill engines he's making. The cylinder castings work fine this time. That's quite a bit of video on that. That's another cooking video this week. It's, it's actually, I put it up this afternoon sometime uh, while I was busy filming this. Just to, It takes quite a while to upload them. Uh, quite an interesting video. Well worth watching. There's a little bit of machine work on that as well. Got an update on Debs. Debs is doing okay. She's nearly finished her treatment. I think she has two more injections and that's, that's her finished. Uh, she's starting to look for a job, she's starting to become more normal self, which is all good. My dad's doing okay, he's just waiting for a, a day to go into hospital. I've been asked to do a job by a, a friend. What he wants making is a screw-on cap for this. It's an adapter he's going to use for an oil tank on a motorcycle. I've also got to weld this into a bit of round aluminium plate. He's done a drone, at least he hasn't used a cigarette packet, he's used a bit of cardboard this time. It's going to be 26mm high, 55mm in diameter. The threaded bit's going to be 15mm deep. He doesn't know what thread that is. I've got no idea what thread it is. Anyway, basically wants a screw on cap on the outside. It's got to be knurled. I'm going to try and find out what, what thread this is. I'll put it in the chuck just so I can hold it easier. We'll try and measure the thread. Right, I've zoomed in nice and close on the macro lens and that appears to be if we go crest to crest one, two, three millimeter pitch. If we go from the five mil mark towards the right, it's one, two, three. The vernier says three as well. Right, so it's a three mil pitch, I can cut that no problem. I've got a bit of bar here, I'll probably get it out of, out of that. Outside down that's 55, and that's 56, so we can, we can use that no problem. First thing I'll do, I'll face the end, get it down to the right down with that, and I think I'll put the nail on first, and then bore it out and cut the thread. Centre in straight away. I put a nice big centre hole in because it's going to be getting bored out anyway, and it means I can use my. Strong light centre. So we've got plenty of room to get the tool in, which we have there. Nice finish on anyway. 
So we're looking for 55 mil. And your size is on critical, your only critical size is going to be the thread. It's always good practice to work, work when we take our size. The only sharp is steel chips, but they're bad enough. Right, that's 55 mil dead. Now we need to put the nail on. The new nailing tool is not big enough to, to spam that, I don't think. Whatever the bastard's done. There it is. Right, it's nowhere near big enough. So all we can do really is slow things down a bit. Slow things down a little bit more. Use a dual today 44 the lubricant for aluminium. That's a nice, a nice grippy finish on there. Quite happy with that. You can certainly, you can certainly grip that. Nice. I'm going to make that hole 20 mil deep, and there'll be 15 mil of thread. That gives us five mil at the end, and I can put a recess in for the screw cutting tool to go into, which is plenty. Nice big drill in here. All I want to do is get some, some metal out of it. to a good start for a boring tool. Some nice Archimedes screws there. Archimedes screw, where did that one come from John? I've got the boring tool touched on the end of the job and I've set the DR at zero. I didn't use it much but it's handy for this particular job and I need to bore in for 20 mil. which is, I'll leave it there until I get it out to size, take the last half mil. Right, I've measured up and I need that hole to be 41.5. Naturally, I'm making the outside down to the thread, that's just going to drop straight in. But as near as I can measure, the core of the thread is 41.5. What I need to do now is machine the, the back flat and then put a recess in for our boring tool to go into or screw cutting tool to go into. Okay, 
That's down to the full depth of 20 mil. Now we can put a recess in and we stroke cutting tool to drop into. Right, I've got the whole board to the right size with the recess in there for the screw cutting tool to start into. I've got a screw cutting tool set on centre height. I've got the compound side set at 30 degrees, power metric thread. It's actually set at 29 degrees. What we need to do now is make sure that this tool is square under the job. Remember as we said before, the angle at that side of the tool makes is 30, which is the same as the angle running through the centre line of the compound slide. There's a little tool like this called a fish tail because it looks like a fish's tail to make sure that the tool here is keep that square onto the jog and my tool there is exactly in the centre of that slot and exactly in the centre of that V So that's at the right angle, it's at 90 degrees. Right, we need to set a start point in here. What I'm going to do with my digital readout, set that at zero so I know where I'm going to start cutting the thread. Need to set the gearbox up to cut this particular thread. Okay, I've got the gearbox set up. I've got the tool set so it's just touching. Everything's on zero. I've got a zero on the DRO so now I'm going to take it. I want to make sure when we engage the lead screw, the card is coming out well, which it is. Okay, so we'll wind this in. Or zero on my DRO. Which is there. That's how we're going to start each. Each time we we'll start the thread, we'll start it from there. That's in the middle of the gap. That we've got machined. Right, so we'll start the lathe up. Put some feed on with our compound slide. Scroll it out this time. My thread indicator is running. I'm going to engage it on every on, 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 on a big mark. Here it comes round. Right, that's it engaged. Right, just cut the thread. Back into a zero on the DRO, which is. There, that back out to zero, more cut, watch more indicator come round, it's a short thread but it's a very deep thread. Quite a nice thread in there. Just trying to start now. 